Hey y'all, Russ here, Our TV. Welcome. Check it out. We're out here. We're just leaving Sand Bay. We're heading down to Bayfield. We're going to connect back up with Highway 13, which is a scenic byway around Wisconsin. And also called the Lake Superior Circle. What a gorgeous drive so far. We have seen so much since we left Superior, Wisconsin. You talk about back road small towns, we're seeing that here. Speaking of the lake, there it is. This is a little uh, town called Red Cliff. It's also an uh, Indian reservation here. We only have a few more miles. We'll be right in Bayfield. Made it. Welcome to Bayfield, Wisconsin. There's a marine museum down here I want to find, plus a big harbor. Thought we'd check those out. Then also I'm spending the night here. Apostle Islands RV Park. Right now it's getting close to 2 in the afternoon. So I figured we'd do a little sightseeing, then I'll head out to the park, and then tomorrow we're going to head down to Ashland. Wisconsin and keep on trucking okay according to the maps if I would have went right there at the street that's uh, the main road I've got the phone Google phones going here and it said straight wow look at all the cars this town is packed full People in the streets. Busy time of year. I mean, this is the place. You want to beat the heat? Get up here in northern Wisconsin. There it is. That big building on the right. Looks like it's open. Cool. Well, we say we'll check out their museum. Then maybe walk over the harbor. Then we'll go find that RV park. A little humid. At least we got blue skies. It was cloudy earlier this morning. Wow, that's a nice water feature. That is some pretty cool art. Looks like an anchor, huh? Got us a storyboard. A turning point in place and time. Wow, this place goes way back. Been a fishing town, harbor, boating for centuries here. Look at all them boats. We'll walk over there. Let's go in the museum first. Views on this online are really good. Kind of hard to read. Maritime trails. We seen one of those back a 
Where, where, where is it? Sand Bay? You can scuba dive, go out and find shipwrecks, all kinds of cool stuff. Bayfield Maritime Museum. Looks like they got a little replica steerage boathouse. Pilot house, that's what I was looking for. Ship's pilot house. Cool. Well, what do you say? Let's go on in. Log rafting. It's free to get come in. They have a donation bucket if you want to put something in there. Life on Lake Superior in the Great Lakes. So many memories, huh? But every kind of fishing boat you could think of. Oh, man. Got the nets out. It's just a way of life. People don't think about this stuff. I don't, living in Arizona in the desert. There's some old, old boats in here. All wood. I think it must weigh uh, tons. A little engine in there, huh? <laughs> Three knots an hour. Pretty cool. You know, it's not very big in here, but they got a lot of history packed in here. Looks like older engines that they used to use. 1910, wow. Light Keepers Tenders. Echo in here is cool. <laughs> you can hear every word said, almost. Rocky Island Skiff. Well, forget them oars. I want one of the motor. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of local history in here. Trawler's home, South Twin Island, cabins, resorts. Yeah, I'll be darned. Chippewa Arnold Line, old ferries, huh? Some of the old time maps. They were really accurate back in the day, huh? When they mapped these areas out. Even those old maps that date back in what, 1500s, 1600s? Pretty amazing. Now it's on your phone. Wow, that thing, it's seen its day. Look at that prop, my goodness. Maybe that's a shipwreck that they salvaged, huh? Josephine Addison. Huh. Yeah, that had to come up 
That had to be a wreck. Harvesting ice. Wow. Heck yeah. Mother Nature freezer right here. That had to be cold. Cut chunks of ice and you sell it. Big old hand saw for cutting ice. Look at that harbor. Them boats are frozen to the lake. <laughs> Get the dog sled out. <laughs> oh, man. Or just drive your car out there. Airboat. There you go. That's a good idea. There's a question for you. Now, would you drive your car across the frozen Great Lakes, Lake Superior, Michigan, Huron. <laughs> They've been doing it forever, it's got to be safe. Look at that ice road. Ice fishing, everything. Oh boy. <laughs> Don't move your house out there in the spring. Better do it in the winter. My goodness. Go out and sink your house in the lake. You know, that boat with a sail, of course this might be a replica. That moved pretty quick through the water. And some of the lighthouse lights. Seeing the light. Unsung heroes, the lights. You never hear about the boats they saved. Just the ones that wreck. Pretty cool little museum. There's a lot in here. A lot of it's local stuff, but still very interesting. And more lighthouses. Oh, cool. There's like a little 3D map in this area with the lighthouses. And also shipwrecks that they know of. Who knows how many went down. Well, pretty darn cool. You can see it's not super big. Free. Definitely worth it. Come in here. Get a chance. Come on in. And the Edmund Fitzgerald. We see that in almost all the museums up here. That song sure made that famous. Well, what do you say? Let's walk over to the harbor. I had to show you those doors. 
Those, th those things still work. They are thick on those rollers. That's how they close her up, I guess, in the winter. It's probably a, what, like a boat repair place, maybe? Like over here, we got the Coast Guard. Sure do. Out here keeping everyone safe. I imagine they're busy when the storms kick up here. I'd like to be stationed here. Be all right till the winter. <laughs> all this freezes over. I still have that picture in my head of all those boats frozen into the water at that harbor inside that museum. Nice little fishing dock here. Want to walk on water? Here you go. What a pretty area. Big trees. Nice little park here too. Day use. goes a ferry heading out out to the islands got cars and people on it yeah I look price put the van on one of those because it's so long it cost a fortune cars aren't so bad Nice little park here. Well, what do you say? Want to go look at some boats? Probably see a lot of for sale signs. <laughs> if you own a boat, put a for sale sign on it. This one's dry docked right in the parking lot. Pretty tall with a big mask on it and everything, huh? winds they really crank up here in the Great Lakes. Perfect sailing. But this is more my type of boat. Has an engine, set of keys, All that sailing stuff, a lot of work. Wow, there's a lot of them in here. What is that, Rob Roy? Probably private charters. People making money, haul people out, fish, sightsee. Like the name of that one, Beach House. Boat like that's probably, oh, 
what, hundreds of thousands of dollars at least. Flowers on the harbor. Well, they definitely get watered here. Lake's pretty calm. We got a little bit of a wind, but not too bad. It's not cheap to berth a boat in a marina. They a lot of these guys probably pull them out in the winter, but years ago when I was boating, it wasn't cheap back then. Look at this one, half time. All right, twin engine gas guzzler. <laughs> and here's Gilligan's boat. Go out and take a three hour tour to an island. That is a very nice. Oh. Actually, they class that probably as a yacht. Well, let's walk out to the end here. So here's the harbor, and there's Bayfield. Small town. Old buildings. We'll drive through downtown when we leave. Small town USA right here. Another ferry going out. Looks like he's turning. They haul a lot of people, a lot of cars. Yeah, for a vehicle like my van, it's close to a hundred bucks to go on one of them or more. Because of the length of it. Here's one coming in. It's got a, quite a few cars. He looks pretty empty. That's cost of money. I see a couple cars. That ferry's named Madeline. Boat lift, they pick you up, stick you right in the water. Almost have to with the uh, type of weather and the banks. That's how you launch your boat here.
For more information on my travels, be sure to check out my website, rvrtv.tv. Sign up for the free newsletter. I'm putting one out twice a month now, right around the 5th and 20th of the month. Two newsletters a month. They're free. Also on the website, there's a place you can sign up for free screensaver downloads for your computer. And I have a merch store, hats, t-shirts, coffee cups, if you're interested in any of that stuff. Sure appreciate it. It helps support the channel and this kind of travel. All right, to the van we go. Well, we'll drive through downtown Bayfield. That RV park guy's lucky. This all everything around here is sold out. Half the U.S. is coming up here to get out of the heat. There you go, that guy had to wait on him. So we'll go up two blocks, pick back up on Highway 13. Very old homes. Don't you love the balcony up there? Probably a lot of rentals here, Airbnbs, apartments. Okay, this is the way we came in. We came in from uh, Straight ahead there. We're gonna make a left. This should cut us through downtown. Cool old brick buildings. Stand in the test of time. There's Andy's Market right there on the right. And we're kind of out of it. Yeah, Bayfield's not that big, is it? Big trees. I bet fall colors here are absolutely gorgeous. Then you got to rake up all the leaves. There's a house with a view. Cool. There's the lake again. Doesn't that look like the ocean, though? These great lakes. Massive body of water. All the way across. What? What is that? That'd be, what, Canada? Here's our road here. I found this uh, campground online and they had one site left, probably a cancellation. So I booked it. Kind of nestled back in here a little bit. 
really good reviews on the place. I just booked one night. Lots of driving today. We've seen a lot from Superior, Wisconsin, all the way to Bayfield. This looks like where I check in. Next video, we're heading down to Ashland, Wisconsin, and continuing on east. Journey continues. Talk soon.